Hi, I'm Camille from Camille's Primer Ideas, and today I just have some general conference themed singing time lesson plans. Now, I love to take the Sunday before general conference and have a general conference themed singing time. I think it's just a great way to prepare the kids for general conference. It's just an important time in our church. We get to listen to our prophet and all the apostles speak, and so why not help them become more familiar with our current living prophets and apostles? Okay, so for starters, I love to sing Latter-day Prophets, first of all, just so they can know kind of a little bit of our church history. And to do that, I love to use actions. I have a separate video linked below that have just the actions, so you can learn all those. So I won't do those actions here. But to teach Latter-day Prophets, I love to just teach the actions. Now, to help you teach the actions, I love to create a binder. Now, this might be backwards for you, but a binder with all the pictures of each prophet and really simple just and this one happens to have their name i inherited this one um but you can do i also have printable on my website with the latter day prophets you can just download and print it's black and white so a little more printer friendly anyway but make sure when you teach latter day prophets that you have a current copy of the music as well if your songbook is outdated like mine is you want to make sure that you have the most current version and i've also got that linked on my blog post so once you have your binder, and this is totally optional, you don't even have to have it, but it's just kind of fun to show a picture with all these names. And then as you're learning, the, as you're teaching the actions, it's fun to have a quick little write-up of each of the prophets. So you can just, when you're teaching Joseph, about Joseph Smith, you just can read something about him and show his picture. All right, so and then you just kind of gradually add on. That's why I like to teach the actions. Or just sing it a couple times with the actions, the kids will um they'll catch on pretty easy it's really fun super simple all right so the next um song that i like to sing for general conference is called the living prophets song and this song is sung to the tune of the books in the book of mormon now there is actual music for it and that's also linked in my post below but you can also just have your pianist play the books in the book of mormon same thing all right, so what I've got on the board behind me are pictures of our current living prophets and apostles, and they're out of order. So the goal is to sing the song and get all of these men in order. Now, if you, I've got these all at the distribution center. If you can order them online, download pictures, or again, I've got links to the coloring pages for all these pictures. Anyway, so as you're singing the song and you get the, so it starts with Nelson, you move, President Nelson, if we can find him, there he is. President Nelson, he'll move to this first spot. And then you can just read a quick write-up of him. I've got some information on my blog post that talks all about President Nelson, just so the kids can get familiar with him. So move him to where he needs to go, sing the song again. Who goes next? Nelson Oaks. So President Oaks goes next, and then you can just read a quick bio about him. Um, if the kids need some help, you can always post the words. I, if you know me, you know I love to post the words. And this will help teachers sing. Definitely help the teachers sing so no, everyone, not everyone feels lost. Um, and you can also, if you have room on your board, my board's too small, but you can add, write their names underneath as they get in order too. Or you can have the word, the names written in order with their pictures out of order to start. So just depending on your primary junior, that might help if you have their names in order with the wrong picture. Senior, you could have no nothing written until they put it in order. It's just totally up to you, but it's really easy. So once you have all your pictures in order, you've read um, a, little bit, a little bit about each of the apostles, you've sung the song tons of times, and hopefully you've run out of time. And then at the end, just bear testimony that you know, you know our prophets and apostles today are called by Heavenly Father. So it's a great way just to bear your testimony about the importance of living prophets and apostles and maybe put a pitch in to go listen to General Conference next weekend. Anyway, I hope that helps. Good luck in singing time and we'll catch you next time.